Intricate 3D structures can be easily characterized in immersive environments. Here we demonstrate analysis of a rock composed of black organic inclusions in white calcite. Data were generated by grinding away 20 microns of the rock at a time and optically scanning each surface. The images were assembled into the volume shown here. The sample is 2 centimeters thick. In Visualizer, the volume can be sliced in any orientation. However, the geometry of features is easier to analyze when part of the sample is made transparent. Because the scientific goal is to understand the microbial structures, we render the mineral components transparent and we render the microbial areas opaque. We then add color to highlight specific features. Once an effective color scheme is chosen, it can be saved for future use. We explore structures in the rock by manipulating the sample and zooming in to look at small details. The green box at the tip of the wand represents one voxel and shows data resolution. Here, there appears to be an isolated patch of organic inclusions. To test this interpretation, the user draws an isosurface around the patch. The irregularities in the geometry of the isosurface are due to differences in color between neighboring voxels. However, the size and general shape of the isosurface represents variations in the density of organic inclusions. With manipulation of the sample, no structures between the isosurface and the external lamina are found. The user then manipulates the color and transparency of the sample to look for a connection. Again, none is found. A second isosurface is pulled through the data from the original surface to one that includes the entire lamina. The rapid jump from the small to the large isosurface demonstrates that there's no connection between the isolated patch of organic matter and the larger lamina. Isosurfaces are also useful for highlighting specific features for measurement. Here, the user produces an isosurface in bridges of organic inclusions that span mineral areas. To aid in examining the shapes of surfaces, the volume rendering component can be turned off. Distance and angle measurements are easily and precisely performed within the data. The user simply places the wand at each point and releases the button. Results are displayed in the menu. The ease of measurement means that measurement is limited by the decision of where to measure rather than the mechanics of actually making the measurement. This can be seen in the hesitation of the user placing the second marker in this example. However, once the decision is made on where to measure, the actual measurement is rapid and very precise. The use of this immersive visualization environment has fundamentally changed expectations for this research project. Now that 3D measurements are trivial to make, efforts are focusing on how to define geometry quantitatively with the goal of using that geometry to extract biological information from the sample. Thanks for watching.